YouTube kick. Another video. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? We're talking about a guy who regrets their surgery. It's kind of a confusing video, but uh, we're going to get right into it. Uh, let's get it cracking like it. You're watching an old video. I know it sounds so old when I say that. Cracker like it. What am I talking about? Self sort of preaching to you all about how amazing. I watched an old video of myself sort of preaching to you all about how amazing it is. And so, oh my God, it's like the gold standard when it actually isn't. And I was foolish to get that surgery. Um, it's not the gold standard and it's definitely quite experimental. So yeah, um, I failed in my choice of surgery. And I wasn't expecting to lose all my depth um, and to not be able to have sex. So I haven't been able to have sex. I have not. I've been a bit of a two-dimensional um, cardboard cutout almost for the last almost year. It'll be a year to the day um, in January. I'm struggling to do this video, but I will keep going. Um, it'll be a year to the day in mid-January. Um, sorry, July, mid-July, when um, that will have been when I went to Thailand for this disastrous surgery. <laughs> so I am getting revision surgery at a very high expense um, in Thailand. I'm going back to Thailand, yes. And I am going for the sigmoid colon option because it's all I've got. It's my only option um, for revision. You know, sometimes when I watch these videos, man, they're hard because you know, I know it's so easy to make fun of these people. It really is. And I understand. I get the world sometimes as a joke. We, we laugh to keep from crying. But I truly feel sad for this person. I mean, I, I, like I said before, my, I feel sad for a lot of trans people. They just, this person even more because this person is trying to have sex and has taken their penis off and, you know, and, uh, it's just hard to when you have to watch people who are so broken and you know they're never going to find it. You know they're never going to find true acceptance and happiness in this life because they keep trying to do stuff for themselves and it's over. This person's going to go back and have revision because they can't have sex. There's a good chance, a very good chance that this person will never have sex again and feel it. They're just going to live the rest of their life with the hole, a hole between their legs because somebody told them this is the right way and now their life is gone. Now they're going to have to find true acceptance and now this new body, a body that can't even do the normal things anymore and function. And you can see that this person's soul is just broken. I can't have sex properly. Like I just can't. And that's the downside to this complication, um, is not functioning sexually, uh, which I didn't think would cause me so many issues in terms of um, my mental well-being, and unfortunately it has. So that's why I look crazy today, that's why my makeup looks like this, and that's why I'm talking this way. I'm feeling like baby Jane right now. So that is the fact of the matter. Um, I don't know what else to say. If I could go back in time, if I could go back, um, I would still have the surgery. I just wouldn't have chosen peritoneal pull through. I just wouldn't.
it's just sad, man. I tell you, man, I, I, these videos are hard. These videos are always hard to make. I know I try to, you know, most of the time I try to make a joke out of it, you know, laugh, giggle. Um, and, you know, the person in the thing, y'all can see over to the side that says the creepiest part of this video is he gets lost in admiring his own reflection. It's because he's broke. Snapped. It's all. It's like, what a life to live. Not in just complete delusion, but to live a life of knowing that people are just watching this person break down and mentally. This person's going back to go get a surgery and they're going to have to go back, not just to do surgery, they're going to have to go back over and over and over and over and over because these experiments and these surgeries are just evil and these people don't give a dang. They don't care whose life they ruin for money. And now we just going to sit here and make fun of this dude. Because he's it's gonna, probably going to be years and years of therapy to get him back to normalcy. And not only does he have to do that, he has to, he can't make videos. He makes videos like this, he's going to get clowned every time. Unless he was to come out and say, I'm truly struggling. And that's why I still struggle with people who do transition successfully and they look like the other gender and they say, but I fully accepted myself. And I said, like, you don't though. I mean, if you transition, I mean, there's nothing you can do. Once you made that full, full surgery transition, and maybe you do like the other sex, it's not like you can go back. I get that. But to then start saying, hey, I'm, I'm my own category. You think a trans woman can ever go back and say, I know I look like a woman to you guys, but I'm a man. And all I can do is try to live my life like a man the rest of my days. But I'm going to always look like a woman. But I am a man. You know, I don't see that. I see a lot of trans women. Um, eventually, when they do accept that they are not a woman, they'll say, I'm not a man either. I'm a trans I'm a trans woman. It's like, once again, you, you separated yourself. You'll never be truly accepting. I don't know if I'm wrong in that, but this video is pretty sad, man. And uh, you just let me know what you think. I know some people are calling this guy a creep, and I know, you know, I can do the same thing because I made a video talking about men who wear dresses are creeps. Um, it's just, man, it's just sometimes you just got to, there are people who, there are men who are creepy. There are men who are a problem. But in this particular video, to me, this man looks more broken than creepy. This man looks shattered and once he's trying to come to the realization that my life is as it pertains to ever becoming a man again as far as like having a penis and having that all again that's over and this person has to come to grips with that and that's what I'm seeing here just the person's like I screwed up and there's no going back and you just only hope that this person can really find true love in themselves because it could be any of us. Any of us could have got fooled. We could have grew up like in Barbies and pink dresses and stuff. And somebody would have told us, oh, you need to be a girl. And then we go get this surgery, truly believing it's going to change our lives. And it doesn't. And then we'd be sitting here knowing that what, what made us who we really are is gone forever. And now we got to go through years and years of trying to figure that out without wanting to take our own lives. Without wanting to try to take your life. That's hard, man. Anyway. Thank you guys for watching this show, man. Sorry I got a little emotional, but that, that video was hard for me. It was sad. Hope you have a great night. Enjoy yourself. Happy 4th of July. I will be live streaming for the 4th of July, so I will see y'all there. Um, y'all have a great night. Be blessed. Peace.